Right, I'd like to give a little shout to a couple called Nora and Brian. Um, they've got a great little allotment. Everything they do, they do to perfection. Uh, Nora tells Brian what to do, Brian does it. He's a very handy man, he does all sorts. Uh, so it's worth taking a look and having a look at it. It's such a tidy plot. And to be honest, they give me quite a bit of inspiration of what I've done here. Uh, you, that's what we do isn't it we, we pick up ideas from other channels and other people and we try and make use of them and if we don't use them exactly we adapt and make our own to suit ourselves they're also got a uh, using doing their son's back garden where they've got a big long uh, potty tunnel in uh, I think they've got all they put up beds in there as well so they've not only got the allotment they've got their son's back garden that they look after and it looks absolutely brilliant uh, I really love watching their channel so uh, I'll put the link underneath if I, if I can and uh, pop over there and have a look it's very well worth having a look okay so uh, I'm doing my garlic bread now I've uh, I've mixed a lot of the peat uh, with, with, with the bed which come out of my potatoes the potato bags that I had uh, so what I've done I've thrown on this bed mixed it all in and I've, uh, I've raked this and levelled it out uh, and what I'm going to put in now is uh, blood fish and bone bone meal so I'm going to get that in uh, and it says on here two ounces every square square yard basically so uh, so it's nearly half that box or a third of that box is going to go on here so uh, that's what I'm going to do. It says give it a good rake in so that's what I'll do this is going to be ready for me garlic in a couple of weeks nice and level not raked in too much what I'm also going to do I'm going to uh, I'm going to cover it over because like I've been told by Mark on Weasel Allotments uh, the foxes like to get in this and, and roll in it so I'm going to do that I'll cover it over for a week or so before I put my garlic in and hopefully should be ready for when I do them possibly the bit at the beginning of Get them out to begin of October. So that's that's my bed prepared with the uh, fish and bone meal. It also says water's in, so that's what I'm doing. Giving it good water. Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a plastic sheet on top of this uh, to cover. So I put my plastic sheet on top. All I've got to do now. Let's put my bricks uh, to weigh it down. And I've got a few more bricks in this, so these will go in to keep it in place. So that's ready now. I've got a little bit more done. I made myself a bit of a deck in here. Um, just as I come up the shed, which you wanted. It would have had on the sides, it's not brilliant, but it's quite sturdy. It's been, it's been here years. It was a base of a shed when I got here, so I just salvaged this in here. Moved it over and it looks quite good, I'm quite pleased with it. Oh. That's my little decking done. I've just got to put my edging on now. To so it's quite it's well supported on there, I've got tons of wood underneath that, so it is well supported. Uh, I've just got to put an edging on to make it uh, tidy it up a little bit and then it's totally finished. September the 19th. Uh, we did these beds last uh, week. Uh, so what I've done now, I've just put two and a half bags of. Uh, a horse from last year's horseman you were on which had kept bagged up uh, so I've I've spread that out nicely on that bed and now I'm going to put that uh, the plastic sheet over it and hopefully the worms will draw it into the ground well 
There's Alfie sitting on my chair. My wife's not going to be very pleased. He's been rolling around in a wood chip. Just look at the state of him. I've got to take him home now. It's going to be murder. Well, that's my flower bed there, uh, filled up and ready for, uh, to use. But I'm not putting uh, plant ending in it because I want to put my daffs and tulips in it first. And uh, what's going to go in that, as I say, is because ants at the back up against the greenhouse next year. So I'm not planting any of these plants in. I've just put them there for the time being. Right, it's Friday the 25th of September and um, what I've decided to do here, this little area as you come through my main gate and my shed, yeah, I'm going to tidy this area up now um, I'm just uh, de-weeding the base but what I am going to do, I'm trying to get the best soil out of there so I can use in my strawberry beds. I might make a small strip for daffodils and stuff like that but I'm actually going to put a um, wood chipping down and put a bench up against it, the shed so I can put some of my plants on top of that well that's my uh, garlic bed done uh, bone meal on it uh, all um, tidied up all the weeds are out of it so they're ready for planting so I'll put some bone meal on this weekend I think uh, what's in, cover it over and then put the, uh, the garlic in next weekend well that's the bit in front of the shed done now that's where I'm going to have a bench here so I can do some uh, plants on there Leave them on there, and the dark bit there is going to be a row of daffodils there. Just behind there, you can see the wood chip, and under that, it's a uh, plastic to stop any weeds coming through to suppress the weeds. But uh, I can get my daffodils in there. I will put an uh, edging around that with an edging, uh, but that's all ready anyway. As I said, this, as I've said, this is where my strawberry bed's going to be, where the beans are. I'm taking the beans down. Uh, I'm going to compost them, and I'm going to use the compost out of these. Uh, spent uh, pots, just feed them, put them around my beds, mix it up around my beds, so I never waste anything. This is where I'm going to do my strawberry bed, uh, the pyramid shaped one. So I'm just preparing the uh, the outer frame. Uh, I'll get some um, uh, weed uh, suppressant and lay that down top. I haven't got that today, I'll get that tomorrow and lay that down in the middle. But I'll just make this outer frame up today. Strawberry bed coming on. Put the outer frame up, uh, the middle, there's another one to go in the middle, there's three frames but um, I've, uh, I've set that one up, I've just got to cut the opening out now, so uh, everything's going well. Well that's a basic framework up for me, um, my strawberry bed, I've got to fill in around the bottoms uh, and then start filling up. Yeah, I will put a membrane down the back. I know uh, possibly that you'd say, why didn't you put it in before? But no, I've got different ideas, so uh, I'm going to put it in as I go along and bring it up the side slightly. Yeah, so uh, quite a bit of the hard work done, I think. Well, this video has been taken over the last two weekends. Uh, as you can see in the video, I've started my strawberry bed, which is not finished yet. So that's going to be work ongoing. Uh, I've completed uh, my daily bed in the sense that I've got it prepared ready for next year and also I've uh, tidied the plot up quite a bit. So if you've liked the video please like and subscribe. Thank you.